Yo, what's up, y'all, man? Hey. <clears throat> it's your man, Kamari. Your boy, Kamari. Whatever you want to call me. Um. <clears throat> I watched a video a couple minutes ago, and I thought about posting it on Facebook, but I just didn't feel like it. But it was brought to my attention, and the video topic was my um the community was talking about it about studs dating or having sexual engagement with uh, um the stud or um with the gay man my bad it studs having sexual in, into not intercourse but sexual stimulations with uh, a gay man now there is difference between gay men sex and straight men sex when it comes to studs don't ask me how I know this bit of information I'm just breaking it down and don't ask me who told me and none of that shit okay um it is and I'll break down that I'm gonna break this down real quick when it's a lesbian stud having sexual stimulation from a gay man, what they do, what she do, what he do, and all that, it's not always something intercourse wise. It's not even like that. Got yeah, a lot of studs mostly strap. They strap. They strap. And if they're gonna go down, they're gonna go down on a woman most studs I know that's what they do that's what they say they do so you know they actually strap down gay men personally I don't know other aspects I ain't strapped down no gay man none of that so I don't freaking know on that um but with gay men what they do they just go down on a stud it's kind of like oh, okay you don't want to be penetrated i just give you head and that's like basexual thing to a stud they go down on a stud give her her full sex and then stud straps down the gay man that's as far as i in the thoughts of my mind that's as far as i think it would go um, but studs who are lesbian and then have sex with straight men, we already know with a cup of tea what's going on that. Straight men ain't just going to be like, oh yeah, okay, I give you oral and then they can vice versa. So you need to be wary, y'all, <laughs> y'all out there that be loving these studs out there. Some of them bitches might be swallowing. <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't know if she be stroking the pole for <laughs> these men out here. Cisgender straight men, you don't know. Some are, like y'all call them dick dykes. And if they all hugged up and kissing on each other and loving on each other in public and all that, my thought is, this motherfucker is not just getting on me some head game and fucking this gay man. This bitch is stroking this nigga's pole. If it's a straight damn man, I already know you didn't fucking gave him head. He gave you head. He didn't fuck you. And that's just the end of the story. And you want to wear baggy pants and still call yourself lesbian stud. Don't do that shit. Look. That's what they call dick dykes. You know what they call dick dykes? Dick dykes is studs that pretending to be studs and then the ones that be giving head to men and fucking let a man go down on them and also let them fuck them and also you f and that's that's what a straight man is. Straight man is fucking you and you supposed to be a stud. That is what these that's what a dick dyke is. A straight man is fucking you and going down on you and you swallowing his pole. You know what I'm saying? Not you fucking him. Now, gay men is vice versa, maybe. You might be 
getting a head game from a gay man and you fucking him in his ass. And I'm be real, so I'm just breaking this shit down. So, be aware what kind of studs you got out there, because you got your big dyke studs and then you got your straight, loving, undercover studs who like straight men. But then I don't knock them. I mean, if you find trying to find out who you are and the way you are, maybe something drastic happened to you and you just feel like you need you dress to appearance as a stud to cope with the situation that happened to you and makes you feel comfortable and still get the attraction of females which you're attracted to, but not have to deal with the issues of men. I've met three people like that. I've met three fucking people like that. Three. Three studs like that. Had something bad happen to them and they're undercover. And I'm not going to expose them because it's none of your fucking business who they are. I don't do that. But I've met some that do that. And I met five fucking studs that fuck with gay men. You know? So, I mean. Do what you do. If you love who you are and the way you are and you are very sexual ex exploring <clears throat> uh, exploring yourself, your sexuality, then do that. There's nothing wrong with it. But just when it comes to the point of if you get with somebody and they ask you, don't lie about it. Be honest about it. It's going to fuck you up and it's going to fuck your relationship up, but be honest about it. Because it'd be bad if somebody find, really knows the truth and then you lie to the person you're with and then they really expose you for what you did and you didn't tell the person you're with. So, my thing is, be honest. Studs, be honest. If you're a stud and you're undercover down low and people are going to call you dick dyke or whatever, you're going to deal with that. <clears throat> but be honest on it. Own up to it. Swallow it, fucking own it, rock tough with it, and keep on moving. Same thing, vice versa. You a stud and you fuck gay men in the ass and they give you head downstairs and you like it and, and that's all you about is fucking gay men and you're a stud. Own up to it. Swallow it. Deal with it. I mean, that's my thing is, I mean, I just would rather you be real on it. And then, yeah, you're going to get a whole lot of ridicule and comments and disrespect and haters and people in your face. But at least you know you. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. All right. This is your man, Kamari, a.k.a. Reno Solution. I don't have much to say about nothing else on that. Yeah, because I don't fuck gay men. And I don't fuck no damn straight-ass men either. Because y'all motherfuckers can go fuck yourselves. Fuck yourselves like this water bottle right here. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I am that.